Hey YouTube, hope you're doing well today. We're doing Appalachian Liberty once more, uh, as you probably would have guessed. And we are just putting in more defenses, doing some boring stuff. I know you don't want to see this. Um, put another prism tower down. How many do you need? I know, I know. A lot. Just to make me feel safe and secure. Sometimes you need that. Keyball needs that sometimes. Alright. So what we're doing now is we're building some uh, Harriers, uh, of all things. Harriers are great. If you haven't noticed, I love my Air Force, my Rocketeers. Um, and we're just exploring right now so I can get a good view on where I want to bring my Harriers in. I recommend doing that when you're bringing air assaults because sometimes you will not be able to see your target. That means you cannot attack that target, so you need to do some exploring occasionally. Oh, oh, it looks like uh, their attack, Siberian attack dogs won the war against my uh, German Shepherds. That's actually what they are, if you haven't already noticed that. Or picked up on it. So another Air Force Command Center will be alright. And we're going to build four more uh, Harriers, build four IFBs, set them down here. To help protect against V3s. And, um... Our economy is booming right now, which is nice. And just in case, I recommend building a service depot. And you can also build a battle lab if you really wish to. to make some spies, steal some money. Uh, up here, there's two ore refineries. But I am really not going to be focusing on doing that. We're sh we should have enough funds for the rest of the mission. And always keep producing more rocketeers because at the end of the mission, they, have, uh, they sell off their base uh, essentially after you take out. Um, a lot of their guys, and so they're just going to be a Russian, basically. It's one, it's one of those things, just like escape velocity, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to explore this bridge to make sure you know when guys are coming through. And now we have a real good view on their base. These are the three primary targets you want to focus on. All right, so we should be uh, set to go in and take out their con yard uh, as long as nothing terrible goes wrong. Eleven Harriers should fit the bill. So go for this route. It has the least resistance of flak. And the earlier you can attack the base, the better chance you have um, at not losing as many units. And just go back. Re repair, we only lost... Uh, what did we lose? We lost. We have seven Harriers left, so that's a real good amount. Happy with that. And let's see, what else can we do here? They're just bringing in some more futile attacks. They should know better. What the heck? They're orange, though. I mean, they're the jaded brother of the Soviet Union. I don't even know if this is like Georgia or Chechnya, something like that. But um. That stinks. Oh yeah, they already take him out. I don't know where that guy's going. Uh, he's just going up a creek without a battle there. All right, we got some Harriers coming through. I'm gonna build a service depot to t uh, deal with some terror drones later, just as a precautionary uh, structure. Alright, now we're going for the War Factory. You can just take this diagonal route. You should stay away from any flak trippers or flak cannons. Uh, but you should be fine. And you should not lose any units uh, taking out that War Factory. Just because it's on the coast. Um, and always set your service depots close to your ore refineries or close to the front of your base. That maximizes the time or that minimizes the time that you will have to use, uh, the, or that expires once you get a terror drone in one of your uh, vehicles. The, the pretty much the same goes for when you're going to um, put a barracks down or a war factory. You want to always have them positioned facing the front of your base um, due to the fact that it uh, allows you to get units out on the battlefield a lot quicker. Oh man, you see right now we got some uh, some of the V3s, you know, trying to hit our prism towers and whatnot, trying to clear up uh, for the Pentagon. So we just got to take them out with these rocketeers. They're real handy. 
and real good at uh, taking out V3s. Alright, so next thing, we're going to take out this barracks right here. Should be pretty easy as long as we get past that one flat cannon uh, that you see right there. And they have their flak troopers located in the back of their base, which really doesn't make much sense to me. Um, and we only lost, what, about two of them? Yep, two. And so you see they bring in their rush right now. Um, it's time to explore with our harriers, not our harriers, excuse me, explore with your rocketeers to clear out uh, space for taking out the reds. All right, now just take out these uh, V3s once more. And the Rocketeers will, you know, just make mincemeat of them. Just to know that, Eva. I've uh, found that that's a pretty common trend right now. My base is under attack. Are right, there you see it. They have their barracks and their war factory right up at the front. Uh, I'm actually going to go search one more time with a couple Rocketeers. Go all the way this way and reveal their con yard so I can take out their con yard as well. And I'm going to build another ore refinery and put this guy up at the hospital location so we take advantage of more of these ore fields. There's a lot left over there. And you see, you don't have to capture those, uh, or put a spy in those ore refineries in the Soviet tab that I mentioned before. You should have, have ample amount of funds uh, laying around near you, near your position, so... Don't worry about that. Don't worry about economy, essentially, in this mission. Just worry about terror drones later on. And just stay, uh, when, you're, uh, when you're scouting right now, just stay along this edge of the map uh, to make sure you avoid any flak and just make sure you know your objective is to reveal the con yard for your Harrier solely. And so there it is. We did it, uh, the Rocketeers did its job their job and actually let's see you know what if I can get a ore refinery down back here I would do that but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen so let's see where we even have room I don't even know where if we have room back here either all right, all right all right let's take out this house hopefully that will free up some space for us unit promoted all right, we'll put it back there. We'll put it up there. We can't really put it anywhere else right now. Oh, we got some V3s parking outside of our base. Can't let them do too much damage. Oh, man, just keep churning out Rocketeers. That's your main concern right now. That's your main uh, 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 fund, what you spend on with your, your funds on right now, just uh, for the end of the mission. And uh, set this as a team, uh, team one, just so you don't have to always be touching them up and uh, know where, and, you know, going back to them, clicking on them all the time, telling them where to go, stuff like that. All right, so go on this edge of the map, just like I showed you with the Rocketeers. You're going to lose some units uh, taking this route, but is the uh, best route to take in order to get to this con yard. Alright, so you're going to lose a lot of guys. Tell them to go to the west. Hopefully you can salvage a few, but you're probably going to have to build uh, 9 or 10. But well, we got rid of the con yard. We just got to take the war factory and the barracks out. Oh, yeah, that's not Lincoln. I know. I've been there before. Lincoln's my favorite president. But uh, Yosef Stalin, he's, uh, he's a bugger. I don't know about him. He's uh, I've heard bad things about him before. I don't really know him personally, but uh doesn't sound too nice of a guy. He would seem like the type to put himself in a mon on a monument. In a monument. Um, and I'm just going to put a pillbox right here to defend against any units that try to sneak through uh, and defend against any engineers that try to capture any of my buildings. So we've got tons of rocketeers uh, at the ready. 
and I'm gonna call it video. That was a real productive one. We took out all of the orange base and we took out the main structure in the red. So looking good and we'll be ready to move on to Operation Deep Sea after Liberty.